Hello and welcome to The Main Cave. Now here's a really quick guide on how to update the firmware on your DualSense, whether it's the regular version or the Edge. Okay, so you need three things which are all dead obvious. Firstly, a Windows PC, because as of recording there isn't a Mac version. Secondly, you'll also need your DualSense. And thirdly, a decent USB cable. As I said, pretty obvious. Now what you need to do is go to this website and I'll leave a link in the description. Then once on the website, hit the download for Windows button and wait for it to download. It won't take long, it's not very big. Then once that's finished, open it up and depending on your PC, you may need to install other stuff. I just accepted it all and installed it all. Then keep hitting next until it asks you to launch the program. Now once open, just hit OK and then decide on whether you want to send data. I chose limited here, but it's up to you. Then you're at the main screen of the program. So now it's time to grab your DualSense and plug it into your PC using your USB cable. Now we'll start with the regular DualSense here. Plug it in and your PC will ring with the familiar tone and the program will show on the left a few things. It'll either show one, whether your DualSense is already on the latest firmware and if you are, you're done. Secondly, it may show that your DualSense is flat and needs charging first. So either plug it into your regular charger or leave it plugged into your PC and it will charge. And finally three, once charged or already charged, it will show you that there is a firmware available. Just click update and it will go through the process without really having to do anything more. Once it reaches 100%, click OK and you're done. For the Edge, it's the same procedure. Just plug it in and if it's your first time using this program, it will ask you to go through a setup tool. Either do this or do what I did and skip it. Then it will take you back to the main screen where you can update the firmware as before or adjust any of the profiles that you have saved. So that's it then. Really, it's a dead easy way to update your DualSense or your DualSense Edge on a Windows PC without a PS5. I hope that easy guide has helped you. Please do like and subscribe to the next video. Bye bye.